Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sastrikal. Welcome back to another session with your war chef at Vareva.com. Today I am going to make a halwa that is related between Karachi and Mumbai. That is Karachi halwa or you can call Mumbai halwa. I don't know the Mumbai has changed the name from Bombay. So whether you can call it Bombay halwa or Mumbai halwa, it's up to you. In this recipe, the quantities are very very important. So what you need to do is uh, take 200 grams of sugar add 100-125 ml of water do not worry about the consistency of the sugar syrup just add 1 teaspoon of uh, lime juice into it and then make sure that all the sugar is dissolved well the reason why we add lime juice to the sugar syrup is we don't want the sugar syrup to crystallize back so when we add this uh, acid to sugar syrup it will not crystallize back you can also add uh, few crystals of uh, citric acid to this instead of lime juice. Many years ago, I mean 10-15 years ago, you know whenever we boil sugar we always used to clarify by adding little milk because there used to be a lot of dirt in sugar. But now we get real good sugar you don't need to clarify but if your sugar syrup is not clean you can add few drops of milk and that will remove off any dirt that is there in the sugar syrup. Now this sugar syrup is come to a boiling point just remove it off from the flame and we are going to add into the halwa. For this recipe, make sure that you measure the quantity of uh, corn flour. Here I have taken 50 grams of corn flour for 200 grams of sugar. Add 100 ml of uh, water and mix it up. Half a teaspoon of ghee into this non-stick pan. Do not switch on the flame here yet. Take this uh, corn flour mixture, add to this. Now switch on the flame. Put the flame very low and then mix it up. Now this mixture is slightly getting thickened. Just switch off the flame and uh, mix this. Okay, And slowly add the sugar syrup. Little by little. Okay. Remember the sugar syrup is hot. That's why I switched off the flame and slowly incorporate the sugar syrup into this. Do not add all the syrup at one time, just add little by little. If you add uh, entire sugar syrup, it is going to form lumps and it will be difficult for you to make it. And also remember that the flame is switched off. If you notice that it, no lumps have formed and uh, this mixture is nicely mixing up along with this corn flour. Now switch on the flame and then keep mixing the same way you did it before. But now instead of adding sugar syrup, we are going to add ghee. Add little by little and then just incorporate into this mixture. One more teaspoon of ghee. Now incorporate the entire ghee into this, around 100 grams of it. and keep stirring it. Mind you, when you add this uh, ghee, keep it at a low flame and slowly increase the flame once this entire uh, ghee is uh, dissolved in this. If you want, you can add little bit of color, the color of your choice, lightly yellow I am going to add. You can add a pinch of uh, ilachi powder. Ilachi is a uh, cardamom. Now you can see this mixture, it is uh, thick and it's becoming transparent like jelly and I think this is almost ready. Add a little bit of this mixture onto your plate. You will be able to remove this off as if it's a small jelly. Now this uh, mixture is all ready and uh, it's nice transparent like a jelly. Add a broken cashew nut to this and mix it up and uh, switch off the flame and pour this mixture into your plate. And this mixture is all ready. We are going to set it for one hour after which we are going to cut it. You know after setting it for one hour or so, let it cool down. That is when you can nicely cut it into cubes and that is when 
you have your uh, Bombay Karachi halwa ready. The more you cook, the more elastic it becomes. So, cook it to the consistency you like. There are couple of other ways they make this halwa. You can also use uh, atta, knead the dough and uh, you can make this halwa too. And also I know people use uh, suji also to make this halwa. But Vashef is always trying to simplify the process so you can make those complicated dishes at home in a very simple way. I am very sure that many of you are going to try in the next few hours after posting this video. That is what inspires me to do more and more videos. I also know that Som Papdi is in the list. It's going to come pretty soon. Dear friends, I hope you have enjoyed today's session of learning how to make this Karachi and uh, Bombay Halwa with your washef at Vareva.com. But remember, Vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips at Vareva.com so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you.